Hello, my name's Carrie, and a lot of times in my business I need a specific part so that I can do a project. And that's the case here. What I have is a backflow preventer on a sprinkler system, and I need to be able to hook an air compressor up to the fitting you see here. And after running around to a number of different suppliers trying to find the right parts, what I decided I would do is buy a flowering tool and build the parts that I need so that I can blow out this sprinkler system. This is the flowering tool that I bought. It will flare the ends from 3 16 to 5 8 inch copper tubing. The fitting on the backflow preventer will accept a quarter inch flare nut. And the fitting I have here is a quarter inch union. One side of the union is quarter inch flare. Notice that I can thread a quarter inch flare nut onto it. The other side of the union is quarter inch male iron pipe. Notice that I can take a quarter inch female compressor fitting and thread it on to the other side of the union. So once I flare some quarter inch copper tubing, this will complete the fitting that I need to hook up to the backflow preventer and blow out the sprinkler system. What I will do next is take my quarter inch tubing, slide it through the hole in the yoke that's marked quarter inch. I want it to extrude from the side of the yoke around an eighth of an inch. Then I will tighten down the wing nuts on the yoke. This will hold the tubing in place. Then I will take the flaring cone and put the end of the cone in the tubing, twist clockwise. And once the cone bottoms out against the yolk, I have a flare made in my tubing. Then I will undo the cone from the yolk. Then remove the quarter inch tubing from the yoke. Next I will slide the quarter inch flare nut over the tubing. The next step is to take the second flare nut, slide it over the tubing, and now what I will do is measure a little bit outside the yoke and make a mark. Next I'll take my tubing cutters and cut the tubing where I made the mark. When you cut tubing, you tighten the handle till it's snug against the tubing. You rotate it a few times, tighten a little bit more, keep rotating and tightening, and pretty soon the tubing snaps right off. Next, I will slide the tubing through the yoke. Tighten the wing nuts on the yoke to hold the tubing in place.
Then take the flaring cone, slide it over the yolk, push the end in the tubing, twist clockwise to flare the end. And once the end is flared, remove the cone from the oak, then loosen the wing nuts and remove the tubing from the oak. So I've made my own coupling with the flaring tool. All I need to do now is thread it on to the one end of the union. And this is what the completed fitting looks like. All I need to do now is take my fitting out, thread the quarter inch flare nut onto the flare end coming out of the test port on the actual preventer. Tighten the fitting up and I'm ready to blow out the sprinkler system. So that completes this video on how to use a copper flaring tool. If you would like to see more of my videos, please visit my YouTube channel, IceCaper1.